I hope you all are doing well today, Internet. It's Colorful Artie, and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64. We are still in fall, and we will likely be in fall for the next two or three videos. Oh well. We at least have the greenhouse, though, so that helps. So my main goal for today is get to the Egg Festival, essentially. Egg Festival is the next fall festival. I believe it's on the... 20th. So we have to play for six days, but I think that's completely reasonable and doable. Where's my horse? Hey, Anne. Have an ear of corn. Wow, great, thank you. I can't figure Poppery out. I wonder if she's got a guy in mind. Oh, Anne doesn't pick up on it. Take it easy. Anne and Poppery are kind of friends, so... That's an interesting scene. Hey, Gray. Sorry. What do you want? Uh, animals. Raising animals is a lot of work. Do it carefully. Here we go! Welcome, welcome! Ellie is off today. She's in the back. No, no, Anne! They should be put there! What? You mean these should be mixed together? No, not at all. Oh dear, we'll have to start all over. What? But this is already the third time! Let's go with this. Oh, you are so rough. You are so rough. Hmm, they've been at it since this morning. Girls are so lively. <laughs> yeah, that's the Ellie Ann scene. <laughs> you could take the smell out of a fish with a little frying pan by wiping it with old tea. My grandma taught me that. Uh, fascinating. Have a mushroom. When I'm tired, I drink a cup of tea. It warms and refreshes my body and spirit. I, oh, because it's a special scene, I couldn't give it to him, I guess. Why, or Ellie is not off today. Oh, thank you. Hey, Ellie. I'd love to get fresh milk and eggs. Come on! We're at, you're at a pink heart. I mean, can't you say something a little more romantic than that? Hello, Maria. It's strange, Artie. You're the only one I've talked about with th that with. Wait, 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 what? That made no sense. You've th I'm the only person you've talked about what with. Don't just leave me hanging. Oh, come on. Was that supposed to be a sweet scene and I missed it? I heard your grandpa just got too old to work the farm. Hmm. Letters are good. When you find a letter in the mailbox, doesn't it make you happy? Have a kitten. Cute. Kitty. Aw. Hello, Kai. Oh, thank you very much. I can understand the daughter getting irritated. Both the master and I lack the zeal for work. Oh, finally we're getting a bit more depth. Are you sure? Thanks. What? What do you have to do? Don't ask me silly things, okay? We are short-handed, so we make a poor living. That is, um, that Karen. Oh, really? Looks like you guys are doing pretty well for yourselves. You got a very nice house. Red dragonfly. I didn't know you could catch those. Hey, Karen. I wonder if my mother's really happy in her marriage. Oh, snap. We just went right there. Okay. Let's see. I got... Oh, almost 10,000 G. Sweet. Yeah, I will buy one bathroom, please. Shall I make that? Yes. Okay, I'll drop by the farm to make an estimate. Give me the lumber and money, then. Hey, Tails. It's cute, but runs away quickly. Truth. Oh no, it's so late. Oh no, what will we do? Good, okay, I'll get started tomorrow. Thank you. You are a gem. A diamond in the rough. My refrigerator is at a dangerously low level. By that I mean it's going to be empty by tomorrow. Alright, time to bid everybody good night. Tomorrow's another day. Yay, my cow's finally fully grown. Sweet. Okay. 
This means that we can finally get milk from it. Hooray! So I bought the milker from Rick a while ago. I am going to put my hammer away since I have literally no purpose for that right now. I kind of want the empty bottle as well, so let me put the cabbage seeds away. I'm not going to need them for a while. Cool. Yes, it's about time my cow got fully grown. So now we can do three things with our cow today. We can talk to it. We can brush it. And now we can milk it. So right now it only gives us small milk, which is to be expected because it only just grew up. Uh, depending on how high its affection is for you, you the, milk, the amount of milk it gives you will increase. So once we get its affection up more, it'll start giving us medium milk and then large milk. And if we win the cow festival, it'll start giving golden milk, which is incredible. But alas, we won't win the cow festival till year two. Now, I, me I mentioned it briefly before that there's a glitch where, like, if you attack your ca uh, cows with your hoe or, like, any of your tools, it'll usually increase its affection massively. I'm not actually going to do that, even though it would be a very easy way to get large milk, but I do not promote animal cruelty, so I will not be doing that. Here, Gray. Sorry. What do you want? And let's see. She can't cook, but she's bright and cheerful. Really? Thank you for telling me that. See ya. He's getting friendlier, guys. All those eggs are paying off. Hey, Anne, here you go. Wow, great, thank you. My brother seems to like poppery from the flower shop, but he's never said anything. How can I help? Oh my gosh! She is totally shipping them together. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, Anne. You... Uh... She is my favorite, like, bachelorette in many ways. How come I haven't seen any of the gray poppery scenes, though? That's... that's... sad. Poppery has a bit of a father complex, though I think it's, most girls have that. Smiley faces are marked on the 10th to the 12th. Yeah, that's a little hint towards the full moon berry. Hey, Harris. You can't see the connections between people, but you can with letters. It's exciting. I feel bad kind of stealing his girl away, so... I'd like to get fresh milk and eggs. That's nice. Hey, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Now is the season for hot drinks. Like tea. I love how his, like, well, see you later phrase talks about tea. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> So here's the thing, I think if I give Maria the cabbage, which I have, which I'm planning on doing, I think that might trigger her confession scene, which takes it to like 5 o'clock. So I'm going to run by the vineyard first to give Gots and Kai their gifts. Here you go. Are you sure? Thanks. What? What do you have to do? Don't ask me silly things, okay? Hey Kai. Oh, thank you very much. I'm the youngest of five brothers. My father and brothers shouted at me, and I followed their orders. I never took the initiative. Didn't have the self-confidence. Wow! Kai's opening up to us! We are such great friends with everybody. Uh, let's see. I think I will go to Moon Mountain at least briefly before going to Maria's. I at least need to get food for my dog. Hey, Stu! Why is the sunset red? Read Calvin and Hobbes. Alright, cool. We got the necessary stuff and cut some more lumber. Because I'll need a baby bed pretty soon as well. I'd ideally like to get that very shortly after I get married. Hey, Maria! I've got a big surprise for you. It's cabbage! Thank you very much! I like cabbage very much. It's easy to give up without trying. I will quit running away. Really? Nope, still haven't triggered it. Hello, the mayor. I heard your grandpa was too old. Blah, blah, blah. My sickle should almost be to the gold level. I've been using it quite a bit. Alright, I'm afraid to go beyond that, though. 
Well, I looked it up, and we are at a point where we can't really see any of the rival hard scenes, except perhaps Jeff's. And maybe a few of Cliff's. So, to start, let's see if we can trigger one of Cliff's. Hey, Poppery! Oh, hi! Are you going shopping? I came to deliver grass seeds. Oh, well, looks like there's no Cliff here today. Yeah, because like, a lot of the ones like must be spring or summer, I'm like, dog on it. Sorry. What do you want? Nothing. Don't you have anything to do? Darn it, that might mean we won't get to see a lot of the rival scenes. That's a bummer. I really wanted to. Well, you can at least see the last Karen and Kai scene, but we have to wait until winter. Ah. Problem is, a lot of the times, they have the tendency to get married right after you. So that could put a damper on things, and you can't trigger the events if they're married. Okay, what was I gonna do? Hey, the midwife, have an eggplant. In the old days, people used to say, Don't let your daughter-in-law eat fall eggplants. Wives were treated so badly, but you must take care of your wife now. What? <laughs> a, I am not married. B, that made no sense. C, uh, if being treated cruelly meant they couldn't eat eggplant, guess what? That's actually probably doing them a favor, because eggplant is disgusting. Ugh. See if I give you an eggplant again. Oh, thank you very much. I haven't had the guts, not for the work, not for the master's daughter. Huh. Yep, Kai's totally crushing on Karen. <laughs> I ship them. I'm trying to get as much lumber from up here as possible because by on first winter, these stumps are going to disappear uh, after a certain event happens. Hey, Stu. I like Maria, too, because she knows all about bugs. Whoa, hey, dude. Maria's taken. I I am going out with Maria. So sorry. Also, yeah, I totally forgot. Maria does know all about bugs, and we really have never seen that. Because she was always in the library and never next to that tree in the spring. But yeah, Maria does really like bugs. Not quite to the extent of Agatha from Twilight Princess, but... It's hard work to run the farm by yourself, but it is well worth it because I'm rolling in the dough. Oh yes, this game is deceptively really fun, though it's tedious sometimes. Well, I got some time left over in the day to cut my grass. Oh, you're tired? Too bad. Keep cutting that grass. Okay, yep, that's the point where we can't work anymore. Better get a good night's sleep. Why were you at the very bottom of the farm? Who told you you could go there? Also, here's something cool you can do with your cows. If you've got an empty bottle and you haven't milked them yet, use your bottle there, and you get a bottle containing milk. Cheers. And you can actually do this as many times as you like. But I'm not going to abuse that. We are going to just do the milking. Still get the small jug of milk. It's great. You know what? I think it's time to break out the music boxes again, because I ran out of corn for Anne. And she's not quite at a pink heart yet. And in fact, I honestly could be giving them to Poppery as well. Because I forgot that I don't have access to flowers in fall. If we had triggered one of Gray's events, we actually would have access to flowers, but nope. Hey, Anne. My brother's a worrier, and he's sometimes annoying, but I like him very much. That's good. Uh, should I give her a mushroom? Yeah, why not? What? Is that for me? Thank you. Take it easy. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to woohoo to a pink heart with a freaking mushroom. But it's better than nothing, apparently. Hello, Gats. Are you sure? Thanks. Jeesh! What's she mad about, silly girl? Whoa. What is Karen mad about? Oh, thank you very much. I was afraid of taking responsibility for failure, so I always ran away. But not anymore. I'll do it. 
Ooh, he's gonna ask her to marry him. Only this front hair is from my grandma. She had very beautiful blonde hair, though I've only seen it in pictures. Oh, and because I have the empty bottle, I gotta show off this amazing... Not glitch, because this is completely intentional. So this is where they make the wine. Well, if you go right here and use your bottle... I now have a bottle containing wine. Also, <laughs> I'm gonna show what happens if you actually drink alcohol in this. You drink it... And yeah, <laughs> don't drink, kids. But that's a nice way to get free wine. There's one festival, first day of spring, where it actually is like a drinking contest, so you need to build up your alcohol tolerance by drinking alcohol if you want to win. You'd actually get nothing for winning, except you get to see a lot of funny dialogue between the different people. <laughs> I'm collecting the tree sap, of course. Time flies when you're fishing. Sometimes you don't even realize it's gotten dark. I don't know how that happens. Time drags when you fish. You're doing nothing. You're just sitting there waiting for the line to... come up. At least in real life. It's so boring. It's about time it started raining. This has been a very dry autumn. How about this? Isn't it great? I've just finished. Take a look. Oh, great. We get to show off the bathroom now. So it's a little nice add-on to your kitchen. So here, we've got a toilet. And over here, we got a bathtub. You can use each of these, and once per day, if you use them, it will give you a slight decrease in your fatigue. So if you're fatigued, then no fear. The bathroom will help you a tiny little bit. Hey! Oh, another visitor! Hi, Artie! We're holding the Egg Festival in the village tomorrow. Please join us. It's kind of like a sports meet. Well, goodbye. See you later. That's a festival that's very easy. And a freaking course it had to be the day my eggplant grew, so I have to water them anyways. I'll keep two eggplants, one to give to Maria, the other to give to Anne. Before, uh, before winter comes, come d cut down all the grass, Anne. Thanks, Anne, for nagging me. I do appreciate that. Hey, Gray, I forgot to pick up an egg for you. So you get nothing. It sure is raining a lot. This is the first rain it's had, we've had in a while. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Is that for me? Thanks, I guess. I don't like the thunder. You know, animals- Ooh, she's in a pink heart! Yes! All it took is an eggplant. I don't recommend that in real life, kids. If, if you want to woo a girl, if she really likes eggplant, then sure, by all means, give her all the eggplant you can. But most girls are not going to appreciate a fresh eggplant. Nor do I blame them. Hey, Poppery. The greenhouse is full of plants scattered by Papa, but they're not for sale. It's a problem. Oh, well, then just make them for sale. Hey, Jeff. Oh, thank you. Little Ellie's cakes are the best because she bakes them with fresh ingredients and love. Aw, that's kind of sweet. I'd love to get fresh milk and eggs. Aw, that's less sweet. Don't work too hard when it's raining. It's easy to get tired. Thank you, Grandma. You are a gem. I still need to get the monies up for the horse race, though, so I can't go around buying cakes. Come winter, I'm just going to be buying cakes so much to get every prize from the lottery. Hey, May. I wonder if the kitties feel cold. Not if they're inside. So thank you very much. Are you off today? I'm a farmer. I'm n literally never off. I always have something to do. Sup, Harris? I take care when delivery mail on rainy days. Thank you for being so proud about that fact. He's like, aren't you proud of me? I take care of myself in the rain. It's like, uh, uh, yeah, sure. Aw, those fences you can't walk through. Hey, Kai. Have a mushroom. 
Oh, thank you very much. Arid lands better than the, because the roots go down deep for the nutrients. The plants root firmly in the harsh environment and bear lots of fruit. I want to be like that. Nice simile. I brought grapes! The one thing you like. Are you sure? Thanks. Boy, it's raining a lot this year. Again. It so is not! <laughs> Dude, what are you even talking about? We harvest grapes and make wine. Why do you look so depressed when you say that? Look more proud. Be like, yeah, like, we make wine. It's the best wine in the, t the village. Which is definitely true, because it's the only wine in the village. <laughs> I'm sure the stuff at the bar is sold by them. Hmm, you know what? We're breaking, we're bucking the tradition today. We're gonna fish at the beach. From now on, when I go fishing, I'm going to fishing at the beach, because there's a small chance that when you fish at the beach, you can catch a power nut, and I really, really want a new power nut. Plus, fish bite better in the rain. And fishing in the rain really bites, so... Both work. Well, that was an evening well spent. One bite, and I didn't even catch it. I guess the real key is to go in the morning. That's probably what, like, the first eight days of winter are pretty much just going to be me at the beach fishing. Because there's, there's literally nothing else to do. Ah, oh, crud. I need my dog food. Oh, come on. When's my sickle leveling up? The sickle doesn't take that much to level up, does it? Only, like, 250. Well, I guess that's enough. Dawn of the Egg Festival. Oh, we're nearing winter. Winter's an interesting season. I can't wait for that. But I will make sure to enjoy autumn while it's here. Also, the Egg Festival does not take place in the square. It literally takes place in the freaking village. So if you enter East Flowerbud Village with the bakery and stuff, it will trigger the Egg Festival. Just something to keep in mind. As per usual, I will be going to Moon Mountain to cut some stuff up. Alright, I'm actually not going to plant any more cabbage. I just harvested a huge portion of my cabbage. I'm not going to plant any more until all of it's been harvested, just so I can get it regulated on one schedule. Because I feel like it's taking forever dividing it up, whereas just taking a single day to harvest all of my cabbage at once, I think will make the recording sessions go by faster. That said, I'm still going to take my cabbage bags while I have them right here. Sounds good. Alright, to Moon Mountain! Alright, I'm going to go in here. I'm actually going to eat this. Because I think my fatigue is a bit high. I've said in the past, like, oh, when your fatigue is low, that means you're really tired. It's like, no, if your fatigue is high, that means you're really tired. <laughs> you want things that reduce your fatigue, not increase it. Alright, I got my dog food. He loves edible grass, don't you? Now, after I sell this stuff, I am going to go into my house, level up my sickle as best as I can, and then go to the egg festival. Should be a hoot and a half. Because I didn't, I didn't have a lot of cabbage to water, I should have a lot more stamina to work with. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Golden sickle! Now we can cut the nine veins of grass at once. And now I'll start leveling up my hoe. My hoe's gotta be pretty close as well. I use it a ton. Although, admittedly, it takes, I think, 300 uses to level up your hoe as opposed to the 250 for the sickle. It also might take a little bit... Yeah, it might take more stamina per use for the hoe versus the sickle. Then again, I don't really know. That's just a guess on my part. All right, time for the Egg Festival. Egg Festival is very easy. Welcome to our annual Fall Egg Festival. Let me explain the rules. Quickly find and bring back eggs of the same color as the ones I show you to win. Okay. Okay, I'm ready to go, but don't expect to... I don't expect to win. I thought you was trash talking me. Hey there, good luck. Thank you. I'll do my best. You do that, don't hold back. My father can't come because he hurt his back. I'm the substitute. Oh, he doesn't seem happy about that. 
I'll try hard. I'm ready, let's do it. Hi, the mayor asked me to come. That's nice. This village really likes festivals. <laughs> That's true, we have many festivals every season. <laughs> like I said, I'm bad at this kind of thing. Okay, I'll give it a try. I wonder how well it'll work this year. My egg detector. Uh-oh. Are you ready? Yes. The first one is this. So he'll hold up an egg. We basically have to run around, find the pouches. Oh, we got a muck. That's the right one. That's it. Bingo. The next one is this. And the eggs change bin color every time. Nothing's inside. Yeah, so the bins could have nothing inside. They could have the right color. Wow, we are getting incredibly lucky. That's it. Bingo. The next one is this. You have so much time to get eggs. And if I go back to that uh, bin here... Oh, it is the same color. I think it changes any, every time. That's it, bingo! The next one is this. So orange. So this one should have a purple one. Oh, okay. Maybe it... Maybe it does have purple ones. Okay. Maybe it doesn't change up the bins every time he announces a new egg color. That makes it easy. That's it, bingo! The next one is this. So a normal white egg. So that one's pink. Nothing's in that bin. There's one back by the greenhouses, which is well hidden. Ooh, that's the yellow egg. That's not the right one. There it is. Yes, that's correct! Oh, that was all of them. You have like a minute to find the egg. The game's over! The winner this year is Artie by a landslide! Yay! Typical crowd sound. The prize is this power nut! Yes! I need that! Thank you, the mayor. Whew, I'm exhausted. Oh, I feel dizzy. Oh no, no. I'm so sorry, sweetie. What a confusing mess, but it was fun. What do you mean? It's so simple. <laughs> Darn. I couldn't even get one. Oh, I'd try harder if the prize were money. Power nuts are better than money. Whew, this is pretty hard. It's good to exercise, that's for sure. Oh, my muscles ache. Oh, poo, I'll make it next time. Hmm, the problem is that it takes too long. It can detect the egg, but it takes around an hour. That's the next topic. Hey, but it works, so that that's something to be proud of, Rick. Thank you, please come again next year. Yeah, so once you're done, you can just head home. That's a fun festival, and but also really easy to win. Thank goodness. Today was fun, but it's back to work tomorrow. That's where we're going to end the episode off for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode. We won't... I doubt we'll finish fall. No, we're not going to finish fall. But we'll play close to the end. So, look forward to that. Have a great day, and God bless.